Today I'm going to show you how to replace the stake on your power pole in case it breaks or comes out. You need to put a new one in. This is for the kind with the black molding at the top of it. There's several different kinds. This is one for the black Everflex molding. Things you're going to need, you're going to need uh, some kind of utility knife. Get the old spike out, you might need a punch. You definitely need a hammer and a block of wood and you're going to need your remote or you're going to need someone else to help you to press the button. So the first thing we're going to have to do is get the old spike out. It's usually pretty simple. This one's already loose. Uh, what they say to do is take this piece of uh, a three foot piece, slide it up your pole, stick it underneath there so you have some kind of support. Mine sits, the trailer sits so low to the ground that I can't do that. But I just jam it up underneath the edge of there. I'm supposed to use a flat punch. This is the only one I ever have. It's always worked fine. You just stick it on top of there and you knock you knock it out. It should come out pretty simple. You throw that one away. Now we get back to the install. First thing you have to do is take your utility knife. You'll see that there is an edge on here. There's two little notches here. And then you have the back side. There's, this one has a little piece of plastic on the back side. You have to cut that off. Then where this edge is, there's a little ridge. We'll see if we can uh, zoom in on that. So where that edge is, there's a little ridge and you have to cut that off. And you want to get at least 75% of that gone. So you just shave that away. You don't want to get it all the way gone, but you want to get 75% of that gone. And it only takes a couple strokes and you usually have that down. Then we need some, uh, we also need some soap. I just use my boat washing soap. Dip it in the soap. Got it lubed up. Raise your spike up so I can get it in there. And we want to have those notches facing towards the rear. So we'll start feeding it in there as far as I can get it by hand. As far as it's going to go, then I want to slowly lower it down. I've taken a block of wood I don't want this thing banging on the concrete. So I put a block of wood down where my spike is going to go. Lower it down until the spike hits the wood. Now, here's where you're going to need your remote or you're going to need someone to help you because the instructions say to hold the down button. As I pound this in, I'm going to put a block of wood on top of this knuckle. I don't want to hit this with a hammer. Put a block of wood across here. And what I do is I just hold the down button with my thumb and I put the block of wood up here and I can do both at the same time. Otherwise you're going to have to, if you don't have the remote or if you have someone to help you, you can have someone help you. But I hold the down button and I start dropping this thing down. Then I might have to lift it up. Now the pole is bending a little. Reposition it so it's a little bit more straight. And this thing will come up almost all the way to the top. Hold the down button. Now, that thing has come almost all the way up. Because of that black plastic collar, it's not going to come all the way. The, the end of that post isn't going to fit all the way out of there. I'm going to give it a couple more whacks just to make sure. There we go. It's all the way flush bring it back up and that's how quick and easy it is to install your power pole. While you got that up, while, you, while you're here you might want to check some things. You can see this one's got a little wobble in it. A lot of times this bottom, the very bottom nut will come loose. The washers, the plastic washers start to wear out. They compress. Things get loose. So this shouldn't have any wobble in it. Get my wrenches out, tighten that thing up. So that's how easy it is to replace the pole, the stake on your power pole.